Well, Senator, always good to have you here in the Situation Room. But I just want to be precise on the issue of Iran. When it comes to Santorum saying he's ready to bomb, he's ready to bomb Iran to prevent it from getting a nuclear bomb, your dad has a very different position. Just outline what your dad's position as far as Iran is concerned. You know, Ron Paul doesn't want Iran to have nuclear weapons. He thinks it could destabilize the Middle East. But should they get nuclear weapons, he thinks that there are some choices and that we shouldn't box ourselves into a war. Interestingly, two days ago, the head of Mossad, Tamir Pardo, said exactly the same thing. If we keep saying that it's an existential threat to Israel, we box Israel and the United States into a cataclysmic war without a choice. And I think people like Santorum are dangerous in the sense that I don't think they're thinking through the issues of what the unintended consequences of war are. And I think what the American people need and what Republicans should think about is you want a commander in chief who's in charge of nuclear weapons who will not use them carelessly, who will not take the nation to war carelessly, and who also understands that Congress gets to vote on declaring war. One man should never decide for our country to go to war. When you heard Newt Gingrich, uh, the former Speaker of the House, tell me last week that if your dad got the uh, Republican presidential nomination, he couldn't vote for him, uh, what was your reaction? I guess the thing is, is that I'm worried about the rest of the nominees in the sense that I don't want to have a commander-in-chief who would recklessly take us to war. So when they say Ron Paul's dangerous, I think completely the opposite. I think what would be dangerous would be to have a commander-in-chief who is reckless, who would take us to war. Interestingly, they try to paint Ron Paul's position as outside the mainstream. The three previous heads of the U.S. Central Command, General Zini, Abizade, and Fallon, all have warned against a preemptive attack. Meyer Dagan, the former head of Mossad, has warned against a preemptive attack. People think Israel is this monolithic body of people that all want the same thing. Israel has divided opinion on this. Two heads of Mossad, the previous head of Shin Bet, the previous head of the military intelligence, Gebi uh, Ashkenazi. There are a lot of people who have expressed some doubt about whether or not it's a good idea to invade or have a war with Iran.